Guys, I'm so excited because today I am doing something that I have always wanted to do, and that is my very first What's in My Camera Bag episode. So, first let me just get the bag up on the desk, okay? Let me... Whew. Man, I was afraid I might pull something on that one. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Fanny pack? Really? First of all, I don't carry it around on my waist. It's a sling. And second, I've got some pretty powerful equipment in here, which you're gonna see in just a second. But first, let me ask you this question. How many times have you found yourself on vacation or a trip with your family and friends, and yeah, you wanted to have the option to get some really nice looking video, but you didn't want to have to carry around a gigantic camera with a bunch of lenses and a super heavy backpack because maybe you just wanted to be in the moment. Well, the solution is right here, my friend. Starting with this Jansport fanny pack and the Sony ZV-1, which is one of the most impressive little cameras I have ever encountered. And honestly, in my opinion, this is just as good, if not better, than some cameras twice the price if you can get over the fact that it does not have interchangeable lenses. On the flip side though, that's kind of what makes it so charmingly pocket-sized. I mean, the last couple of weeks, both of the videos that I've done have been about my a7C, but a lot of the times I was holding the camera in my hand, so I had to film those videos with something, and that something was the ZV-1. I was so impressed, and not only that, that picture profile that I told you guys about last week for HLG2, it works on this camera. And I want that to sink in with you for just a second. This little camera can not only do HLG, but it can do S-Log, it can do all of the Cine profiles. This little $800 thing, and I'll tell you, I did not pay $800 for this camera. I got it open box from Best Buy for $628, and there was nothing wrong with it. But one thing that sucks about this camera is the battery life. Luckily, the batteries are tiny and cheap. I got this pack of replacement batteries with a charger for just a little over $20, and I just keep them stashed up front with my AirPods which aren't exactly helpful when it comes to filming, but it is nice to have the option to be hands-free. And sometimes it's just really nice to be able to entertain myself if I'm out and about, say at the doctor's office, without annoying the crap out of everybody around me while I'm watching Jared Poland videos. Rono's photo. You know what I'm talking about. Another little thing that I picked up for this, and originally I didn't intend to, but I'm very happy with it now, is this small rig cage with the wooden handle. There's a couple of different ones out there. I just really like this one. I love the feel of the wood in my hand. I also love the fact that there's an extra cold shoe mount in case the one up top is being used for something. And most importantly, this allows me to have this on a tripod while being able to open the battery door at the same time. For whatever reason, Sony thought that it would be a great idea to position it so that if you have it on a tripod, if you need to change out the battery or the memory card for that matter, you have to take everything off. Was that really necessary, Sony? Now the built-in microphone on the ZV-1 is actually not half bad, but sometimes I want to make sure that it really sounds good. It can be kind of tinny. So in that instance, I will bring this little Movo Mini shotgun mic with me. And this is essentially the Rode Video Micro, but half the price. Now I haven't had the opportunity to compare the two myself, but I can tell you from experience that I think this sounds phenomenal and I'm really, really happy that my mom got it for me for Christmas. Thanks mom. Something that I always love to bring with me is a tripod. And no, this isn't like a Jovi. You can't wrap it around tree branches, but it fits in the bag, which is probably the most important thing. But it's also really sturdy. It has an articulating ball head, which is really nice. It makes it easy to adjust things. And I like the way it feels in my tiny little hands. It's a good tiny person tripod, even if you're not carrying it around in a fanny pack. And if you have room for it, which in this case I do, I always like to carry around a little light. You never know when you're in a small space, it gets dark and you didn't expect it. It's just nice to have something around. And this one is the Falconize F7 Mini and it's an RGB light. So I can change it to all kinds of different colors and flavors and it's magnetized. Lastly, I always keep some kind of snack on hand because 
when I get hungry, I turn into the worst person in the history of the world. So I try not to do that. And in this tiny package, you have everything you need to vlog or to just get some really nice footage of your trip and enjoy yourself without feeling like you're in work mode. So this is just what I carry in my fanny pack, but I know it's not the end all be all. I'm sure that a lot of you out there have your own compact setup, so I'd love to know what you carry in yours. Let me know down in the comments. And while you're headed that way, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, that way you never miss another video that I come out with, and I will see you next week.